Good morning, scientists. Today we're going to focus on the difference between energy transfer and energy transformation. So we've already done a lot of this in the last week or two when we've been looking at different kinds of energy and how they change. Energy transfer is the passing of energy from one object to another object. So you can think of energy transfer as one thing hitting into another thing and then continuing that motion. So if you were in school last week, we did some little um, examples of this by crashing toy cars into each other. And we saw that when one toy car went down a ramp or was pushed into another car, that second car moved up and we measured how far it went. That is an example of energy transfer. The motion energy or kinetic energy is transferred into another object which continues with that same kind of energy, kinetic or motion energy. However, energy transformation or energy conversion is when one type of energy changes into a whole different type of energy. An example of this would be a solar panel that takes the sun's light energy and changes or converts it into electric energy. So when the type of energy changes, that's energy transformation. All right, which one of these, keeping those definitions in mind, would be an example of energy transfer? And which picture would show energy transformation? Did you pick the dominoes for energy transfer? If you did, kiss your brain. You're exactly right. The energy, when I push over one domino, from one domino is transferred into the next one, which falls and knocks over, and then transfers that energy to the next, and so on. So all of those dominoes fall over because the energy is transferred from one to the next. The type of energy doesn't change. It's still motion energy or kinetic energy. It just moves from one object to another object. But if we look at the energy transformations here, we see that this electric plug showing electric energy is changed or converted into what type of energy would toast your bread? Heat energy, right? So that electricity is changed or transformed into heat. That's an energy transformation. Just like when you eat food, you're taking the stored chemical energy in food and transforming it into motion energy to ride your bike. So that chemical energy is changed or transformed into motion energy or kinetic energy. And just like we pointed out in the last example, sun or light energy can be changed and converted into electric energy with a solar panel. All right, you might have heard of a scientist named Isaac Newton. Um, sometimes you see him in a cartoon where an apple's falling on his head because he was one of the first scientists to study how gravity works and other laws of how motion affects things, um, how they move, and what forces cause them to slow down or change direction. So. The third law, he has three famous laws of motion. Today, we're just going to fo focus on the third one, that every action, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Just like with the toy car example, when the action of one car hitting another car happens, the opposite reaction, or that second car moving away, is the effect. So the cause is one object hitting into another one, the effect is that second object moving away. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Another law that we can think about when we're talking about energy transfer and energy transformation is called the law of conservation of energy. You've seen this in previous lessons. Energy is never created, and you can't destroy energy. You can't make energy go away. You can only let it change forms, or energy 
doesn't ever get created or destroyed. It only changes forms into other kinds of energy. So that's called the law of conservation of energy. Okay, collisions, like we did in school last week. This car head-on collision is an example of when one object crashes into another object. We call that in science a collision in energy. Most energy in a collision is transferred into another object, in this case the cars. So that motion energy, if one car was sitting still and a speeding car came along, most of that energy is transferred into motion energy to move that second object, in this case a car. But there are some energy conversions that happen or transformations that happen in something like this because it makes a loud noise, right? So that energy of motion is converted or changed into sound energy. So there's also heat energy. If anything hits into something else, it does create some heat or thermal energy. That's another example of an energy transformation or conversion. I'm going to teach you an acronym. That's when the first letter stands for something in a little word to help you to help you remember it. If you remember this word melts, you will always be able to remember the different types of energy. So the different types of energy, you remember energy melts. The M can stand for movement or kinetic energy. Movement energy is for the M. E stands for electric energy. Electricity, anything that you plug in requires electricity, right? That is a form of energy, electric energy. Light energy, just like the light from the sun, but also the light from a light bulb. When you plug in a lamp, you're converting electrical energy into light energy. That's an energy transformation or energy conversion. Thermal energy or heat energy is another type. And a fire, you can think of when you burn anything, you're changing the chemical stored energy in, say, paper or a log, a wood, <clears throat> something wooden, from that chemical energy is converted or changed into light energy from the fire, but also thermal or heat energy. And finally, sound energy is another form of energy. So when a loud noise happens, that is a form of energy that you hear. All right, let's see, test our skills. Energy transfer or energy transformation. We see here some wind turbines. <coughs> The motion of the wind turns these propeller-like things we call wind turbines, and it becomes electricity. Is that an example of energy transfer or energy transformation? Did you say energy transformation? You're exactly right. Kiss your brain. That is an energy transformation because the movement of wind or kinetic energy changes or converts into electric energy and electricity. All right, let's do one more until you're ready to show off your skills. You kick a soccer ball and it flies across the field into the goal. Is that an example of energy transfer or energy transformation? Did you say energy transfer? If you did, kiss your brain. You're exactly right. That is energy transfer because her motion energy of her foot and leg kicking that soccer ball, the energy is transferred into the soccer ball, causing it to move or fly across the field. It stays motion energy or kinetic energy, but the energy from her foot is transferred to the soccer ball for it to fly across the field into the goal. Okay, I think all of you are ready to show off and do a great job on today's assignment. You're going to be able to see this slideshow to, to help you remember and watch a short video. Then answer all the questions on the Google form to test out your skills telling the difference between 
energy transfer and energy transformation.